Hey everybody and welcome to another episode here on Talk Daily. Today we're going to do some car talk and we're going to talk about a serious subject. Um, before I go any further, I hope you have a great weekend. And I hope you have doing great wherever you are in the world. And I'm always thankful for watching my videos, like and subscribing. I really, really appreciate it. It's a very humbling experience. I try to share here on the channel everything I know about cars. Um, just give you a little bit of my background. I... Um, I'm not really a car mechanic. I've been working on my car my whole life, but it's just because necessity, you know, it's the necessity of I need to fix the car. I didn't really, I can really afford to fix, you know, get a brand new car. I have to repair what I had just to get along with life, you know, go to school, get groceries and go on and, you know, living your life because in Southern California without a vehicle, can you take public transportation? Absolutely. But it's just really not efficient and time is the essence, you know, when you have a job and you have school and whatnot. So that's my background. I had so many cars uh, and I try to share some of my knowledge here on the channel. So I digress. The subject is about a cars that are being stolen and it's uh, basically they give you statistics and I'll just read it for you right here. Nationwide data isn't available yet for 2022, but law enforcement agency report vehicle theft are up. 88% in Washington, that's the state, and 31% in New Jersey. And that's pretty high. 88% in Washington? That's shocking. What? I mean, that's insane. The National Insurance Crime Bureau, that's the NICB, reported that full-size trucks from Ford and Chevy are the most stolen vehicles in 2020. Makes you wonder, huh? The Honda Accord and the Civic took next two spots. So... I'm very familiar with that. I'm from Southern California, and I, I already know that, you know, the Hondas. If you have a Honda, you keep it clean, uh, and, you know, eyes are on it. I don't know what it is with Honda. I don't know. They're not, not as bad as Toyota, but not saying that Toyota's not getting stolen. I personally had uh, had an experience with car theft. I had my Nissan Sentra. My grandpa had it. That was his car. And he barely drove it. And one day he's like, where's my car? And then I want to go get And then, you know, obviously it wasn't there. So we called the police and like, okay, we reported it was stolen. I don't think not even 24 hours later, they called us like, oh, yeah, we found it in this part of some 7-Eleven in the county next over. And we had to pay for the, uh, they had to tow it. So we had to, you know, it cost us money basically to get it out of the, the yard. Uh, anyway, so it was very inconvenient, very annoying. I took it for a joyride. I think they broke the, the window, uh, one of the small windows in the back to get in. I don't know if you know, like the the quarter panel window in the passenger area that broke it to get in there or something. I don't know why they broke it to get in there or maybe they, I don't know why that part was broken. Anyway, that glass was broken because the glass was inside the car. So forced from the outside toward in the inside, they broke it. I don't know. Anyway, it was annoying. It's inconvenient. It's bothersome. bothersome. So look, I can't even talk now. But anyways, um, my point is car theft are on the way up in some part of the county in Washington state. For example, local law enforcement reported vehicle theft up 80%, as we mentioned, in the first three months of 2022 compared to 2021. Uh, 12,569 vehicles so far this year compared to just 6,692 in the first three months in the last year. And again, that's about Washington. I, if you're from Washington, let me know what's going on in there. In New Jersey, how you doing? So I had to do that. Theft are up 31%. Other area in the county are exporting similar statistics. Now, the reason why it can get all political, um, you can talk about like, you know, law enforcement, availability, whatnot. I don't know. Um, but increase uh, are part of the year long trend, according to National Insurance Crime Bureau, which note that nationwide car theft are up 16.5% in 2021 relative to 2019 figures, although that falls to approximate 5% increase in theft relative to 2020 figure. For our calculation, that's their calculation, car and driver. Uh, David Law, the uh, president and chief executive uh, uh, officer of NICB, testified in front of the United States Senate Committee on Judiciary about the increase in theft as well as rise in carjacking earlier this year during the testimony. Uh, Glau uh, recommended the committee to find a way to collect national data on carjacking as there is currently not a single definition of that act used by law enforcement agencies across the county. Oh, man, this is unfortunate. NICB last, re, re, la, excuse me, NICB last released its statistics for the vehicle most likely to be stolen in the U.S. back in October 2021, revealing full-size trucks from Ford and Chevrolet were the most stolen vehicle in 2020. The Honda Accord and Civic were next the most stolen vehicle on the list. The organization recommend four main ways to prevent vehicle from getting stolen. Uh, or at least, you know, make it easier to recover. The use of common sense. Don't leave your keys in ignition. Use a warning device. Install an immobilizer device. And install a tracking device. Make a note of that. Uh, this is a relay. 
you have fun and in your car. You can just remove the relay and your car will not go anywhere. Uh, be more specific. Not any relay. Do not remove a fan for like the air conditioning relay fan. That's all that's going to make you just have no air conditioning. There are relays in your car. The job is to basically on and on switches. Okay, not fuses. Relay. If you do remove the relay for ignition coil, for example, or your fuel pump, your car will not deliver power to that device, whether it be the fuel pump or the ignition coil. Without ignition coil getting any power, you're not getting no spark plug. Without spark plug, your car is not starting. Same thing with the fuel pump. You remove the relay for the fuel pump and no power is going to your fuel pump. Whether you can do so constantly and reliably, every, you can do it reliably. Of course, you just remove it. But it's kind of annoying. You can, make, you can wire a kill switch to it. Again, I'm just giving you ideas how to do it. Specifically, every car is different, but it's, it's not that hard. You can Google it. It's not the end of the world. Um, I know a couple of friends of mine who do that. They have a kill switch on their car. It's basically literally going toward the relay, uh, the fuel pump relay. That's the easiest thing to do. Um, I have a Honda Accord. Unfortunately, my Honda Accord also got... Uh, my catalytic converter was removed. Cut away. Um... Literally, I park the car, I go in the house, and in 45 minutes, 45 minutes, I come back to the car, doesn't look at a little converter. My car sounds like a V8. Oh, man, that was awful. So, uh, you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, crime is going to be there, but I'm just shocked that Washington has that high percentage. I don't know what's going on in Washington. I know it's very liberal. That's all I know about Washington. I want to go into politics because um, I'm old school, man. I'm old school. I, I I don't know what's going on, but uh, I don't want to keep putting a picture of the poor guy. He's just an actor. Uh, and as far as using crowbar to get into your car, I don't think so. They're probably using. I don't. I don't want to talk about how to get into your car. I have some ideas of how, but I don't want to share that with anybody. Uh, if you know, keep it to yourself. Um, I just hate it. A, a car. You need a car. We need a car to get to from point A to B to go to work. And when somebody takes away your car. It's just like really, man. Like really, really. I, I I truly hate it because I love cars too. So it makes you know it's it's really really violate. It's like if someone violated your house. You know, went to your house and it took something from it. It's just I hate it. Uh, when my catalytic converter was stolen, I was just like, dude, like you know, you uh, what were you doing? You know, like for what? Yeah, I know that's planned. I mean, I I bet I guarantee you the idiot who stole my catalytic converter, who or she, I don't know. Who took the catalytic converter? I don't even understand what a platinum element is, and he has no concept of what platinum is. He just knows it's money. I want to get my twenty dollar for I don't know. Um, anyway, so um, yeah, my condolences. If you're a victim of a crime, if a car theft or any kind of crime, yeah, my condolences, and I feel your pain. It suck. It it truly really suck, and um, uh, I feel bad uh, for everybody up there in Washington. Eighty eight percent theft. Um, Honestly, uh, I, I'll give you that tip. If you're in Washington and you're having that issue, that relay is really not that hard. You can Google it. There's relays for the fuel pump. Without it, the car is not going to start. Now, what are they going to take it on a flatbed? What do they have extra relays hanging around? That's kind of crazy. That's a very determined theft guy. I think most of the theft is uh, opportunistic, in my opinion. Um, but it's just really unfortunate. And um, hopefully it goes down. Uh, if you have an experience with that, let us know in the comments below. If you know why it's going up, why Washington specifically 88%, it just sounds really crazy. Uh, let us also know in the comments below. And as always, uh, thank you for watching. As always, stay safe out there. And thank you, thank you for watching all these videos. I really appreciate it. Let me know what you think in the comments below as always. And have a great rest of your weekend. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Well, that'll be tomorrow. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye.